I'm back. Hello, hello. It's great to be with you again. All right. Fantastic. Good. This is great. We actually got it to work this time. How wonderful. Wonderful. We are live simultaneously on my page and wave.videos page. I am now using Blue Jeans, and I do love Blue Jeans. They're a really great app. They're actually Facebook's own uh, internal video conferencing app. And so we should have a nice smooth stream. I figured out uh, what we had some hiccups earlier this morning, and I'm going to do take two, my friends, because I want to. <laughs> and I have some great content for you. I've prepared some slides. More than happy to give you these slides uh, after the session. I will happily make those available for you. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to walk through some facts and stats, and then I'm going to take any questions that you have. Excuse me. I'm going to do the facts and stats. Then I'm going to do the 10, the top 10 Facebook video marketing questions that you should be asking and give you the answers to those and um, and then take your questions as well if you have any. So the way this works, when I go to share my screen, my video is going to pop up into the left corner. If you're watching on a smaller device, you can tip it, and uh, but <laughs> the, the live counter will probably be over my forehead, <laughs> like a third eye, um, or if you're watching on your desktop, don't worry about it. You'll see, you'll see me. I'll periodically go um, back and forth between uh, full camera and desktop sharing. But just so you know, with blue jeans, which I'm using now, eh, the video goes up in the top left. Okay, but not to worry. We'll do that and uh, we'll dive in. It's great to be here with you. Okie dokie. Here we go. So, the top 10 Facebook, <clears throat> excuse me, video marketing questions brought to you in partnership with my good friends at Wave.Video. Wave.Video is a fabulous video creation tool with the largest premium content library in the universe. Over 200 million. Wowzers. So I want to start out with some facts and stats about video. At the moment, Facebook generates about 8 billion video views on average per day. It's quite extraordinary. My number might even be a little higher. Uh, uh, nowadays, um, that was a little bit ago. So 8 billion, still that's extraordinary, unbelievable. 8 billion video views a day. A recent eye tracking study by Facebook shows that people gaze five times longer at static at video content than they do static content on both Facebook and Instagram. Now, you'll notice my fellow presenters, trainers, public speakers, you can bring your slides to life by using a short looping video, just as I've done here. This fabulous little square video, you can see it's just a looping video, and I made that in Wave. I made that in Waved out video, I added the little, the little um, text overlay, it just loops around. This is one of the examples of really fun, uh, you can see some people are out for a, a, a cycle, bike ride along the beautiful board rock, boardwalk there. So, um, so uh, that's what we want to focus on. We want to focus on more video content for, for your Facebook and certainly for your Instagram as well. And embedding on your website and on other social sites too. Twitter, LinkedIn, you know, it's all about the video. Speaking of which, by 2019, global consumer internet traffic will, count, will account for 80%, 80% of all consumer internet traffic. It's extraordinary. Small biz trends. I've seen Cisco have quoted a very similar stat. And uh, so it's really, it's about the video and you need to have great compelling video content that, uh, you know, catches people, people's attention. We call it thumb stopping. Uh, Sheryl Sandberg talks about thumb stopping when you're scrolling by your news feed, that you scroll, 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 then go, oh, what is that? So it's good for mobile. So when I address the top 10 questions, you'll see many of these, we're going to talk about uh, some of the most popular questions like, what is the optimal length of your video, whether for live or what's called VOD, video on demand? What about ads and ad breaks, the right length, the right format? What about stories, story format, story ads, adding captions, text overlay? I got some great questions for you and answers for them, I should say, some great answers for them. <laughs> and feel free to pop any in as well. I'm more than happy to, to uh, answer your questions after. All right, so a few more video stats. HubSpot, our good friends at HubSpot, said that 90% of users say that product videos are helpful in the decision process. Hello, that's extraordinary, 90%. So if you have a product or a service, you really want to be having video content to help your prospects make that buying decision. Another great stat here, and this is by our friends at Unbounce. Unbounce is a great landing page creation software. I use it myself. 
including a video on a landing page can increase, oops, it's typo, my apologies, needs an E in there, increase conversion rates by 80%. Typos, typos bother me, so I gotta fix that right now. There you go, it's an E. Ah, dredge it up, she says, there you go. Gotta fix the typos on the fly. 80%, how extraordinary is that, friends? 80% conversion rate, so look at that. You, put, you have great video for your marketing, for your organic, and you're paid on Facebook and Instagram, and you have video on your landing pages. You are made in the shade. You are definitely gonna have significant benefits to your conversion. If you've just joined us, Mari Smith here coming to you live from sunny San Diego. I'm leading a fabulous training for you on the 10, the top 10 video marketing questions that you should be asking in partnership with my good friends at Wave, wave.video. That's another, actually I should just point that out too, this is another fun little looping video that uh, that I've made um, using Wave. See, just super easy. I can put my, my logo on it as a watermark, just loop it around, it just adds as the similar to a GIF, right? It's basically like making your own little animated GIF and you can really bring your, your visuals to life. Um, and then this is just a static one. Sometimes you wanna just put a, st a static image in there. Social video generates 1,200% more shares than text and image combined. Great stat by our friends at Brightcove. A couple more and then we'll dive into our top 10 questions and answers too. The top three, I love this, by our friends over at Curata. Top three most effective types of video content, customer testimonials, tutorial videos, and demonstration videos. Now then, I love this. I highlighted this one in, in yellow with the customer testimonials. Because could you imagine if you have tons of written, maybe you've got your reviews on Facebook and in other parts of the internet, maybe you have got, um, you know, by email, by surveys, or however you collect testimonials and they're predominantly written, you can bring those to life by making videos with the text overlay, some video montages. Obviously, if you have videos with, with your customers talking to the camera, those are great as well, but, we, do, we have to be careful to not limit ourselves in thinking that the only way to do video is to camera. And for us women in particular, gotta make sure the hair, the makeup, everything is all perfect. <laughs> Accessories and all that. Um, obviously you want your lighting, you want a good camera, good lighting, good, good audio, good microphone. But um, you don't have to do, you don't have to stop yourself by thinking video content has to be to camera. You can create fantastic video content using a great platform like wave.video with a combination of your own assets, your own video clips and photos, and merging and uh, mixing those in nicely with uh, the wonderful premium content, as I mentioned, over 200 million, the largest in the universe. <laughs> it's amazing, there's, there's, there's there, no way you can't find what you're looking for uh, in, when you're using wave. So um, here we go, five Facebook video factors. And this is what Facebook says, that they identified five factors related to the rise, the rise of online video viewing. Not just on Facebook, but across the whole internet. Smartphones, of course, everybody has a smartphone, easy consumption of video content, that thumb stopping, like I said, Sheryl Sandberg talks about, Shorter attention spans, we can watch little micro videos, a 10 seconds here, a minute there, two minutes there, right? But on the back of that, binge watching, right? You'll notice that Facebook, wherever you are in the world, that like Facebook will automatically begin to play the very next video. Now, especially for those of us in the United States, Facebook has the watch platform. We're gonna talk about that a little bit here in our training. But the ability to just kind of draw people in and have them get addicted <laughs> to the, watching the next episode. Um, so then uh, the importance of context, so that is where like you're watching video with your friends or you see that social proof or you're watching you know, funny cat videos and you want some more funny cat videos, <laughs> context, and then the thrill of novelty. Now Facebook's invested, investing an extraordinary amount uh, into original content, original content. Uh, they're also, also making bids on exclusive streaming rights, for instance, it's all about those eyeballs, those having those eyeballs glued to the screens. <laughs> so, uh, a couple more, where are we at? A couple more stats. This one, Buffer, our good friends at Buffer. 43% of marketers said that they would create more video content if there were no obstacles like time, resources, and budget. Oopsie daisy, time, resources, and budget. Oh my goodness, does that include all of us here? Well, guess what? There's no excuse now when you've got a really powerful tool like wave.video, it doesn't take you much time at all. You got all the resources there on the planet, 200 million, like I say, plus your own, and it's very, very affordable. 
And uh, actually, I've got a code for you. I put it in the description of this video because you, you can um, uh, save 30% uh, on any annual plan uh, with that code, WXA. It's all uppercase, WXA underscore 30 Smith. Or you can private message me. You can actually just private message me on my page the word WAVE. You private message me the word WAVE, it'll send you the code, and that way you have it. Okie dokie. Um, now I'm going to show you throughout, throughout our, our training here this, uh, this afternoon or morning, wherever you are, it's 4.30 Pacific, of just how incredibly easy it is to use this platform. There's that little video I was working on earlier. And all the different formats, really, really easy. And you go and you want to add, we're going to go in here and add a video clip. Let's say that uh, you, want, you want to make a recipe video, cooking, you know, obviously if you're a professional recipe making video person, that's fine. But otherwise, look, I mean, look at this amazing, beautiful content you can get, get in here. And you can sort, um, you can sort over here by all videos at, or photos and images, free, premium, Shutterstock. If I go premium, then it's going to show me all the ones included in my plan. Or you can click, quickly switch over to photos and images. Super, super awesome. Uh, you can just think of anything on the planet to make a video about. It's really, really so easy to use. So there's no excuses now, my friends. There's no excuses. Building up, gearing up for Facebook's watch. As I say, this is a United States predominantly. The Facebook's really, really putting a heavy emphasis on becoming a digital streaming television platform, just like Netflix, um, Amazon, Hulu, YouTube, YouTube Red is a paid platform, right? But um, watch video is not paid, it's what's called AVOD. AVOD is advertising video on demand. SVOD, subscription video on demand, is your Netflix and your Amazon. Hulu is another one, of course. So you've got the watch, watch platform came out late summer, it's almost a year ago now, available on desktop, mobile, and your television apps. That little television icon right there on your phone, and on your desktop, I just pull up my home page here. On um, desktop, it's right here in the top three uh, navigation over there on your on your left. Watch now then, U.S. only, right? So it is the U.S. only, and uh, you're going to see what's live right now. What's a lot of these are pre-recorded. Almost all of them are pre-recorded. There's not really that many that are that are, are live right now. Uh, oh, that's funny, it's blacked out because it's got mature content. <laughs> In your watch list, what, you know, what making people laugh, what friends are watching, shows that you've subscribed to, it just goes on and on. It's like infinity scroll, it just keeps going on and on. And, and there's just, you know, this, I'm telling you, come this time next year, you're going to see an incredible, incredible growth of Facebook TV, Facebook Watch, the watch platform. That's why you've really got to be upping your video game. And that's one of my 10 questions I'm going to be asked, uh, addressing today is specifically about your watch, your watch show, how to get a show on the watch platform. <clears throat> so let's start uh, with the next segment here. The next session is number one. People ask me these questions all the time. I've gathered them up from folks asking me video marketing questions. How long? People ask about it, like, how long? I'm going to go live. Uh, I'm doing live or I'm doing what's called the VOD, right, video on demand. As soon as you finish a live, as soon as you hit that stop broadcast, your video is now a video on demand. So that's one category of video on demand is replays of live. The other category is, of course, videos that you make in a tool, a platform such as Wave, Wave.video. That's VOD, video on demand. And you could create an entire show for the watch platform using video on demand, using a platform or a tool like Wave. So the length is going to depend. If you're doing live, you can do anywhere from like five minutes to four hours. Four hours is your max. Some, some creators have up to eight hours, or you've got that continuous stream for webcams, draft, baby draft cams, eagles, eagle cams, <laughs> you name it. That's continuous with no recording, uh, whereas the max for most people is going to be four hours. If you want, you can do four hours. My recommendation for the sweet spot is going to be between 18 and 22 minutes. I'm going to go a little longer than that today because we're doing a training, but for doing a show, 18 to 22 minutes is really around about like the sweet spot when you think about how television 
segments or done television shows, episodes. You could do them way shorter if you wanted to, um, but for live, I'm going to say somewhere between 18 and 22. Similarly to video on demand, now I put under 60 seconds. For videos that you want to also be playing on Instagram, maybe you want to do Instagram ads, it would be 60 seconds or more. So you could, depending on how you want to utilize them, if you want to produce a video, publish it on your page, get some organic reach, then go into Ads Manager and add your budget. That's what I'm calling here, promoted posts. It's all under the ads. When you give Facebook money, that's an ad. So that could be, it could be a one hour Facebook Live. It could be a five minute Facebook Live or it could be a 60 second video on demand. It could be a dark post. Now dark posts, you're more likely to do shorter videos and especially if you're going to do ad breaks. Ad breaks can only be five to 15 seconds. So let me get you more information on that. I've got that right here. Facebook calls it in-stream, in-stream video ad specs. So videos of three minutes or longer from Facebook's publishing partners, they don't have it available for everyone yet. This is for doing the rev share, just like YouTube has. Three minutes or longer from our publishing partners are eligible to host in-stream video ads. So in-stream, but you can create an in-stream. You can create a video ad break and uh, load it into the ads manager. And um, the formats for that, the video length, is gonna be between five and 15 seconds, right? So what I said right here in my slides, five to 15 seconds. And um, so yeah, that's what I would recommend for, for doing those ad breaks. Okay, friends? Um, moving into the next section. So that's length, hopefully that's helpful. We've got questions, pop them in. I'll circle right back in a moment. Uh, hold on, quick sip of water. Got my little straw somewhere. <laughs> Number two, oh yeah, so I got this wonderful slide here. You might've seen it in some of my other presentations. My Gold mine is a big gold rush, a gold rush right now. Video ad breaks, I'm telling you, like I said, this time next year, oh my goodness, watch is just gonna be blowing up. It'll be available in other countries. Now's the time, there's a huge opportunity to be diving into video ad breaks. It really is a very inexpensive way to get television type ads, five to 15 seconds, Facebook's doing pre-roll and in-stream, mid-roll breaks. Okie dokie. So you want to take advantage of that. Formats, what video format is best? Video on demand, right? That's you're uploading, you're creating them, like just as I'm doing right in here in Wave, I'm making a video, I produce it, I get the right format, the size that I want. Uh, we're gonna to come to that in a moment with all the different formats that you can do, the sizes and the ratios, that, uh, that's video on demand. Obviously when you're doing a live, you're doing either landscape like I'm doing now for desktop live, but if you're doing live from your phone, it's probably you're gonna do portrait. You can do live from your phone landscape, but if you're also doing stories at the same time on Facebook, then it's going to force you to be portrait. It's really, it's really interesting how Facebook's done that. By the way, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Mark Zuckerberg's sister, Randy Zuckerberg, had the great pleasure of meeting her. She and I were both keynoting at uh, an event in Austin, Texas a few weeks ago. And I had the great pleasure of meeting her. And uh, she actually is the one that created Facebook Live. And um, she, uh, I, I actually live streamed, I live streamed her presentation on my profile. I think I did it on my profile. And I was holding my phone, I was holding my phone, <laughs> landscape. Um, I wasn't doing the story format. I was only doing it on my wall for landscape. And then no longer, no sooner did I finish, and I stopped the broadcast and it was completed. And now I'm telling you, I won't go back and find it right now, but it's forced it to go portrait. So I have a landscape video, but it's chopped because it's forcing it back to portrait. So Randy, you gotta fix that. <laughs> anyway, so if you're doing a live, obviously format, um, most likely it's gonna be portrait on mobile, landscape on desktop. However, for that's for live, but for video on demand, try Square. Square is getting really good uh, results, tends to outperform landscape on both Facebook and Instagram, but you can also do um, vertical and portrait. Let me go over to my, my choices here. You can go up here to manage formats, and I really love how Wave.video have set it out. 
her social network. Look at this. Starts out with Facebook. There's vertical four by five, vertical two by three. I'm going to draw your attention over to the right here as well. It's actually going to give you some, some uh, a preview of what it looks like. So four by five or two by three uh, or square. Carousel is square as well. Instant articles, full portrait, full portrait, nine by 16. That's your story format. It's the exact same as the Instagram story one down here. Uh, or full portrait when you're doing that immersive, as Facebook calls it, immersive canvas style. There's your landscapes, horizontal, instant articles, uh, in stream, and a Facebook cover. Don't forget to do your Facebook cover video. All righty. So, um, oopsie daisies. Video on demand, all the videos that you're making inside of Wave are video on demand that you can use across all social networks. My recommendation for formats that are working really well, square, vertical, and portrait. And then for ads, when you're doing your promoted posts, your dark posts, same as I was saying in the previous slide, they can really be any format, but um, especially like for, for this, you know, I'm doing a landscape broadcast on live. So then if I was to go into ads manager and promote this, then it would be a, you know, a promoted landscape. But for dark posts and ad breaks, you're going to want to do vertical square or, or you could do landscape. That's face. This is directly from Facebook, actually. If I go back to, oh, let me give you that. I, I always like to give you this. Um, where's the, they like give me the permalink. I like to take the permalink. So then it's the full link. I'm going to drop that right here in the comments. Uh, come on. Come on, Facebook. You'd be nice. There it is. Okay. So this is, um, this is a Facebook ad breaks info. Oh, look at that. Two R's. I got my Scottish accent on. Breaks. Facebook ad breaks. <laughs> Two R's. Um, very helpful info here because they're talking about, as I pointed out earlier, your length, right? Five to 15 seconds, but also your aspect ratio, vertical, square, landscape. Now, notice they say up to 9 by 16 because you could go into Wave and you can do the 4 by 5 or the 2 by 3 or the 9 by 16. Righty? And you can experiment with them and see which ones perform well for you in your, your short ads. All right, so next question. How do I add text overlay? Another very, very common question that I get all the time. Folks want to know how do they do that? And these are some of the things, like if you're kind of rolling your eyes and go, oh my God, everybody knows how to do that. Well, uh, they don't. <laughs> People are at different stages of learning and growing when it comes to their video creation, right? So video on demand, so, so, so easy using Wave, of course. Watch this. So I've, I've chosen my video or, or my, you know, actually, let's just do that for fun. We're going to go ahead and grab a little video clip here. That looks great. We've got some chopped veggies or something going on there. We'll add that right here loading the video, making a nice salad, and then literally I can go um, uh, chop the lettuce, that might actually be shard, <laughs> and I've added my text overlay. Now then, cool thing with wave.video is I've got all these different fonts, thousands, I forget how many they have, 3,000 fonts, a ton of fonts, and you can go in and you can choose and set up your brand fonts. You can also have multiple brands if you're an agency. Wave makes it super easy to choose the brand that you're working on and then like, I like real way. And then um, you also have, this is all preset up, right? You can preset this all up in your brand and you've got the different, different swatches. So you can decide which one looks best on the current video that you're using. I like my turquoise blue. And then you can also resize it. So I can pull the size down. Now then, remember, my friends, that Facebook actually wants to still uh, have that 20% text rule. So you want 20% or less text. Now then, I have many of my clients and students, I do tons of trainings in the financial industry, um, health and wellness, uh, direct sales, all kinds of different industries and, and I have many like distributors or franchisees or branches 
um, independent professionals will say, they show me their ads and they'll say, why, and why didn't this one get approved? And Mari, can you help me with this one? And how do I tweak this one to get a, the relevant score up? And why did this one not get accepted? And invariably will be something they've said in their messaging or Facebook does tell you if the text is more, but sometimes it's on the cusp and it's not even obvious. But you wanna make that text still 20% less, even though Facebook will take your money and they'll place the ad, but you wanna to try to have it low. And now even I'm showing you this on a, on a giant screen and so it might look, oh, that's really big, but um, you wanna have it so that it's readable on a small mobile device, right? But, um, but it's not too big. Now see, I could actually add another text block right into the same video clip, okay? Uh, add shard. I'm really showing myself up here. Actually, I'm a really good cook and a baker. My dad was a professional baker. I should totally make like a cake decorating video. <laughs> now the coolest thing is, here I am working in the square format. Watch this, I can decide, you know what? I wanna do that um, landscape, 16 by nine. And you think, okay, now you're gonna just adjust the video slightly. Maybe you wanna reposition the text, resize the text. You go, okay, that worked really well. You download it, you produce it. And you think, okay, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do a, um, a story format now. Increase the text a little bit. If you go into the watermark and make my watermark just a little smaller for uh, the story, I could even reposition it. I'm gonna put it up here in the top left instead. Make it a bit smaller because it's big for my story. And there I just like instantly could go, maybe add some music, publish, download, and I'm good to go with numerous versions of the same video. So that's for easily adding text overlay using a tool like Wave Video. Or with Live, now you can create custom graphics. At the moment, I'm broadcasting to you today from BlueJeans. There's a variety of great third-party uh, Facebook Live apps and tools and platforms out there uh, where you can actually create like a transparent PNG and then just have the graphic down there. Um, usually it's gonna be 1280 by 720, just as a transparent PNG. Now you're looking through the transparent part and then the graphics are either lo lower down here, you could do fun stuff up in the corners. Um, you've got BeLive.tv, you've got Zoom, you've got blue jeans I'm using here. Uh, what else is there? Um, all kinds, you've got also Facebook native. Uh, you've got Wirecast, my good friends at Wirecast, you've got vMix or a little more um, a higher end. Uh, my good friends at Live Streaming Pros are big fans of Emacs. So lots of things you can do with the text overlay. And you know, really actually Wirecast and VMix, um, trying to think what else, maybe OBS, OBS is free, but Wirecast and VMix, you're actually gonna be able to storyboard and you could have somebody like, you know, switching out and you can bring in B-roll and lower thirds and all kinds of creative things and really producing your own show. If you, uh, there's a message, just message me the word wave. If you private message me the word wave, and that's m.me, Mari Smith, uh, or just on my page, uh, the one with the blue check. And then I'll give you the code, it'll just message you the code. That's just an easy way for you to have it. I've got it in these slides and I mentioned, actually it's in the description, above, below, wherever you're watching. <laughs> but that's just real handy if you wanna have it in your, in your uh, messenger. Just message me the word wave. Now that is set up using a nifty bot, messenger bots, a whole other subject. We'll get into that in another training. All right, number four, how do you get your show and watch? Again, a very popular question that I'm asked all the time. So in the United States, you're gonna do this. In the US, uh, take this, go, apply to get your show on watch. Pop that in there like that. Um, that's only gonna work if you're in the US. If you're outside the US and you go to pull up that form, it may not come up. But at least you should let Facebook know that you are interested in having a show. Fill out the information, your profile URL, page URL, country. Um, it's interesting, they have country there, so probably, probably you can put, probably that will come up outside of the US. Because that, you know, I, I was asked earlier this morning when we did take one of this training, right, when's it coming to the UK? Um, and I don't know yet, but my best guess is that Facebook will be rolling out watch to more countries pretty soon. You can describe your show, describe yourself, and then just fill that in. Now then, even if you're not quite ready yet, 
I recommend that you know you go ahead and get yourself geared up. Let me pull up this wonderful example, and we shared this on the on my training earlier this morning. It was super pixelated. That's why I'm doing a take two, re uh, redo. My friend here, uh, Lara Joseph, she's an animal trainer, professional animal trainer, behavior consultant, and an ABA practitioner at the Animal Behavior Center. And I, I love to use her as an example because, uh, you know, who'd have thunk that you could have a regular show with animals and broadcasting teaching? Lara's fun. She's a doll. And she just has this great show. I love to show it off. She's, she's in my fast Facebook training, by the way. I'm going to tell you about my fast Facebook, or you can just message me the word fast. Now, she has it set out, live stream on Sundays at 9 a.m. Eastern, but that does not have to be live stream, right? You don't have to get in your head that the only way to do video is to camera. That's a part of it. That's certainly one way. But you can dramatically augment the video that you're doing, including scheduling to drop, to publish, to go, you know, to... Um, Go, I was going to say go live, but to publish on your page so that you don't have to be live all the time. And you can do as much as 80% of your content could be made uh, with as video on demand using a great tool like Wave, right? And you could have, you know, gosh, you could. I'm just thinking here. You could have your own cooking show just, just using stock imagery. <laughs> but back to our friend Lara. She does do it live, and she does Coffee with the Critters, and it's really fun. You can see some great views on here. I love giraffes. There, she's got giraffes going on there. <laughs> and um, this is the kind of thing that Facebook's looking for, though. People ask me all the time, what, how can I get my show on watch? First of all, fill out the form if you can. Second of all, most definitely, don't wait. Get yourself going with regular content with the exact same day and time. It's called appointment television. That's what Facebook's looking for, is appointment television, so that you're, they can see when they go to your page, you're already, you're already got the makings of having a great show that has uh, the appointment television aspect to it, and ideally that you're getting some good views and good engagement, which may mean that you will need to spend even a little bit, even a nominal budget uh, on Facebook ads to amplify your reach. It's really going to help um, increase your likelihood, right, of, of getting a show and watch, but also just increase your increase your your views, your traffic, your um, uh, conversions, your leads, right? That's what you want. Okay, so go to FB Watch Form and fill that form out. Uh, Facebook Watch is a little uh, slide here about it. Facebook's definitely favoring creators. There's also, they're bringing out what's called Facebook Live Producer. Some publishers on Facebook have that, some creators. And that's going to be interesting to see how that all maps out. I think my good friend Matt Navarra has access to that. He told me he had access to that. And also episodic. I said appointment television. Another way to think of it is episodic. So, it's, you know, it's re regular weekly episodes is great. And then there's your, your bit.ly link again, FB Watch Form. Um, yeah, and, and when you're creating your show content, you want to be thinking more like a screenwriter and not a buy myself copywriter. Because that's where we all get, we all kind of get our sales and marketing hat on. Oh, I just realized that probably my camera is right on top of the word think. It says think more like a screenwriter. Here, I'll make it small. <laughs> think more like a screenwriter, not a buy my stuff copywriter. There you go. A little easier for you guys to read because my camera is right on top of the words, I know. Um, and that's for sure also when you're creating your show, when you're, when you're actually building out the content for your show. Okie dokie. Question five, where can you get the best assets? Well, I've been talking about it a fair bit in our training here so far. Royalty-free, what is assets? Assets are royalty-free videos, photos, images, graphics, and music that you can add to your videos. And for sure, as I say, unbelievable, largest in the universe. We go like this, go like this, gonna go add another clip. It says right here, search more than 200 million royalty-free video clips, photos, and images, and then you've also got your music element as well. Super awesome. You'll never be stuck for anything in here. It's so easy to find great, great content. And uh, they're always improving it. They have great customer service, and they're really great, uh, open to great feedback if you ever need anything from them. So uh, waved up video, for sure, 200 million. Uh, making your story videos. So another great um, kind of, I was going to say, it's not as tapped into as it could be. So there's 300, as last I checked, 300 million daily active users 
using Instagram stories, okay, using stories on Instagram. Not as many on Facebook, actually Facebook hasn't even revealed any numbers yet. Facebook's been really, really trying to push the stories, haven't they? Um, you could see stories on desktop. If I go back over here to my Discover, if you go to my regular news feed, if, you, if you're like, what the heck are stories? Because there's still, there's still people out there who have no idea what a story is. And that's okay, because they're not obvious. On desktop, you'll see them right here. You'll see where your friends have made a little story. Lots of friends are putting stories in there. And all it is, is um, either an image, a photo with some text on it, some, just some text, some plain text with a color background, or a video clip. Now, on Instagram, they have way more tools. They got that fun boomerang effect. You can go live. You can go live on Facebook stories, too. Um, and then on Instagram, one of the things I love on Instagram is that you can add, um, I think if I got this, I don't think I put them. I don't put them onto my regular. Oh, but you know what? Did I put one on this? Did I make that? No, that's just a photo. That's a rose from my garden. That's really a rose in my garden. That's my hand right there. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I can't show you my, my uh, stories on desktop, but that's okay. Um, sometimes I have my phone hooked up. I don't have it hooked up right now. But one of the things that I really love on Instagram stories is the GIFs. Adding in animated GIFs, you can turn a photo into a video. But let's say, so, so the easiest way to make story videos is just using your mobile device and, and just shooting them, you know, just, you know, filming whatever you're doing. But you could also make professional story videos using Wave, right? For Facebook and Instagram, for your content and for your ads. Okay, so it's that 9 by 16 format. Go over here, go to our edit, and we just go right here, 9 by 16. I've got the little Instagram icon there. It's just as perfect for um, uh, for uh, Facebook, will need to be 15 seconds or less. I think this one I saw, I saw it was 37 seconds. But uh, yeah, 15 seconds is going to be your max for your video. But don't forget, my friends, one of the really cool things that you could do with, with the story format, the 9 by 16 full screen video, 15 seconds, is ads, is ads, because story ads, you can now do those inside of Ads Manager, and there are very few. Um, you know, people are really, very few businesses are really taking advantage of that. So that's a cool thing to do that you can do in Wave. Adding captions. So that's very similar to my question I, uh, I had earlier about adding the text overlay. However, captions are slightly different because it's basically when you're speaking, the captions come up. Uh, and 80% and of all video ads in particular on Facebook are watched with sound off. Okay, because the autoplay, now Facebook did do a test not long ago to test autoplay sound on. What do you guys think about that? Do you like autoplay sound on? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments. Personally, I can't stand autoplay sound on anywhere, anywhere, on any website. A lot of news sites do that on the ads. Maybe not, I'm not so worried if it's like a news site or a magazine or something. I'm going there to consume some video content. But when that ad pops in, especially if you have lots of tabs open and you just like you're like all of a sudden some you know noises blasting out. If you had your speakers up and you're like, ah, what is that? You know, it's like or a knee-jerk reaction is like, where's the mute button? You know, where's the close button? You know, so um anyway, adding captions is the antidote that you want to be able to draw people in and have them go, wow, what's happening here? They want to be able to read what's on the screen as you're speaking. So Facebook's done a really, really good job of dramatically improving their generator, their caption generator tool. It's gotten so much better. The accuracy is pretty good. Um, let me do this, and I will go here, and I'm going to go like this, and I'm just going to go to, oh, I can't go to one of my videos, but I, let me just go to something on my wall that I did before. It's going to be the easiest way. Well, I could go into videos. It's just going to pull up my live. And we just go into, come on. Well, it's a shared video. Okay, let's grab this one. So all we're going to do is go the three dots, edit post, and they've gotten so much better with this interface. I don't know if it's rolled out to everybody, but you'll see where you have to put a title in. Facebook won't let you even save it without a title these days. And then you put your tags in. Uh, up to eight is still right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Choose your thumbnail, 
And Facebook's done a fairly good job of that as well, where you can choose from, there's like 31, uh, or you can add an image, or you can even sometimes on shorter videos, you can drag and drop it. But what we're looking at right here is the captions. So you just select your language, and then you'll hit generate. Now in this case, these are already generated, but if you haven't done this before, you click the edit pencil, and you're going to want to check for accuracy. Now I sometimes do this just for the first part of it, and then I don't. Actually, this one, I did a little bit of editing, and then I just <laughs> hit save. This week has been a week in watershed week, as I've been calling it. Ha <laughs> it's a watershed. An epic week. You see, I want to go in there. It's actually, I called it a watershed week. See, and then it'll start, it'll play me that little section. Watershed. <laughs> that, and then we go and save. Now I've just corrected one little thing. Super easy. Save. So that's probably going to be your easiest way for captions is the Facebook generator tool. But let's say, and the accuracy is significantly better than it was like a year ago. Let's say that you want an even more accurate, I mean, you've got YouTube as well, it's very similar accuracy. You can download your video, upload it to YouTube, get the captions, get the SRT file. I wouldn't do that now that Facebook generators got their tools pretty, it's pretty, you know, on par with YouTube's. But Rev.com is going to cost you a dollar a minute, so obviously $60 for one hour. Super accurate, just ridiculously accurate, like 95, 98% accuracy. Uh, and then another fun one to try is Trint. Trint.com is, um, is, is, is a fraction of the price, <laughs> and it's all done by AI. So it's going to be very similar to Facebook or YouTube, the auto-generated, but I find it significantly more accurate, and it takes very minimal editing. So you can just do like pay as you go, $15 for an hour. It's like really, really inexpensive, right? So I said, you know, Rev is, 30, is $60 an hour. These guys, you can get them down to $12 an hour. So it's really, really great. It's a great tool. Check those guys out. I think they're based in the UK, actually. Hello, my friends over there in the UK. Uh, so that's how to add captions. And, and captions will dramatically increase your consumption of content on Facebook. Ready? Number eight question, what does mobile optimize mean? If you've ever seen this, like you got to op optimize your video for mobile, you optimize your video for um, ads, for mobile ads in particular, and the, that just means that formats that work best on mobile devices, we've talked about them uh, throughout this training, and that's certainly square vertical, which is your four by five or your two by three, if I go back to my wave over here, right? So four by five is that, it's kind of wider, of course, and then two by three, a little skinnier, and then 16 by 9 is a full, whoops, it's not, so that's um, landscape, I meant 9 by 16, is your full screen story format. So that's what's meant by optimizing for mobile. And these are the best. You've also got carousel, so, but square is, is uh, carousel is like multiple square videos or square uh, cards, they call them, which are, are photos or, you know, images. So that's great. I do recommend that because keep in mind, my friends, some 86% of all Facebook users access Facebook predominantly on their mobile devices, all right? Um, just checking how that's doing. That's what I saw. Oh, no, you can see, you can see eight. I wondered if my video was on top of the eight, but it's not too bad. Good. All right, we're almost there, and then we'll get to some questions as well. This is good. This is good. So uh, mobile optimized number nine, what is a video view? You probably know this, it is three seconds. So, um, and Facebook has adjusted their metrics over the years. <laughs> it's really interesting how they've done this, but you've got um, reach, you've got impressions, you've got views. A view has to be three seconds, and of course you've got the autoplay. Does that really mean somebody's viewed it? Um, well, in a moment, one of my next questions I'm gonna talk about is custom audiences, the engagement custom audiences. And you can create audiences of people who viewed three seconds of your video, 10 seconds, depending on how long it is, right? If it's a two minute video and you want 25%, well, that's 30 seconds, right? 50%, 75%, or 95%. These are tremendous, tremendous um, custom audiences to make because could you imagine if you have, you know, a five minute video and you're creating an audience, people watch 95% of that, that's a significant captive audience, way, way, warmer and more qualified than someone who's just going to swipe by and happen to catch the first three seconds of your video on autoplay, right? So 
Um, I want you to be keeping in mind as we get to the next two questions why I've, why I've put this in this sequence. You've got your three seconds as a video view, but you really want to get more if possible. Where's your video metrics? So um, I put a screenshot in here, as I said, I'm going to let you have these visuals, but just uh, for, um, I'm going to go like this and go like that. I think my live is playing right there. Show you it real time. Yep, perfect. Uh, that one I think was, what was that one I was showing you guys and gals? Facebook newsfeed changes. Yeah. That's the one with Zuck. Doesn't really matter, but I was just wanting to show that was a good one to show. Oh, lots of videos, lots and lots of videos. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Well, we can just grab anyone. It just doesn't matter. Here, we'll grab this one right here. Community updates. Oh, this one. Oh, no, wait, that's not even alive. It doesn't matter, actually, it doesn't matter. Here's what, ah, no, 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 no. There's an example of me making a wave video to go with a post. And it's really actually one of my pet peeves when I see people um, posting about video, but not doing a video post. <laughs> so you may as well make a short video. So depending on where you're looking, right here, you think, well, where's my metrics? I want to get here and look at my metrics. This is actually clickable. See, it's telling me it's popular with women between 35 and 44. But, but, and it's going to be sometimes it's the reach number, but as you're looking in here, or you can go in under settings and, I mean, uh, publishing tools. You can see all your videos under publishing tools or under insights, insights in your posts and seeing all the metrics. But I want to draw your attention anyway to this part here where you can kind of back it up and go like this. So I can see all minutes viewed. Video views, 10 second, average watch time, audience engagement. I can drill down in here and start seeing the people reached, um, specifically the audience, right? You can hover all this. It's amazing. They're showing you how much time was consumed for each gender, for the, the audience, the age, the location. Incredible information in here. Incredible. So as we progress down the road and we're doing more and more with video and the watch platform and the Facebook video ads and the story ads, you can see where, you know, Facebook is just really, really um, going to be an incredible, I, I hate to say competitor. We would, should not say competitor to television. It's not a competitor to, to mainstream to television. It's an it's a augmentation, a supplementation. It's, it's giving marketers and advertisers a tremendous opportunity to get, the, get your content in front of more people, more of your audience for extremely inexpensively. So you want to start to really pay attention to your video metrics. And our number 10 question is creating those video, CA, I put CA short for custom audience. Video uh, engagement custom audiences. Here's that screenshot we were talking about before. So I'll show you this real time. Let's do this. We're going to go into ads manager. Some of you might use uh, business manager. Um, and then you go in up here to your three little bars, top right, excuse me, left, <laughs> that's left, and you're going to go under assets to audiences. If you've used it recently, it'll be under here under frequently used, right? So you just go to your audiences and then let that load. Do, 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 do. This is a really terrific process to do. So you've got your videos. That's why I'm saying instead of doing link posts, do video posts, create audience custom audience. You can do this. It's, it's not that difficult. Once you walk yourself through this, you start to understand the, the process of what these audiences even mean. You've got your customer file, which means you're uploading your own user base. You've got, um, hold on, the website traffic with the pixel. Maybe you have an app, offline activity. You have an in-store or phone, but this is the one I'm, I'm talking about right here, engagement. Create a list of people who engage with your content on Facebook or Instagram, right? Click that guy right there, and boom, look at this. It opens up and go all of these other wonderful options. Video, you've got your lead form, full screen, which is Canvas. Anybody who's interacted with your page, anyone who's interacted with your business profile on Instagram, you didn't need a business profile, or people who interacted with your event. Okie dokie. So, Video, watch this. Going back to that, we're getting to this screenshot right here. Click that guy, and it's at first you're like, ooh, what do I do? Where do I click? It's not obvious, but watch this. As soon as you click in that first field, it says choose a content type. I click in there, and that's where it's going to go all these ones. So let's say I want to say 
50%. I want to choose people who've watched 50% of my videos. Then if you're going to do that, I would recommend going for shorter videos. To catch people who've watched 50% of an hour long video, it's very, it's going to be a fairly small audience because people come and go, they drop in and out. We have a number of people here that have been watching for uh, however long I've been broadcasting, <laughs> 45 minutes or something like that. But um, watch this, you can go choose videos and now, first of all, I've got to grab the right page. Doo, 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 doo. Here we go, if you're, if you're admin on numerous pages. Um, so now I'm going to look for short videos, right? So there's one, it's 37 seconds, 37 seconds, 46 seconds. Oh, these are uploaded from ads. That's fine. We'll take that one. And you can cycle through. I can do a video custom audience for numerous videos. Let me find another couple short ones. There's even some stories there. It's going to give me all the stories. There's a relatively short Facebook Live, 20 minutes. Short for me anyway. <laughs> There's another great one, a minute and 39. That's great. So you see where I'm going, and this is just in the last month. So I was like, okay, great. I've got all my stories. I can even do video views for stories. So we've got all of that. In fact, I've even gotten this great. Oh, show sources. How cool is that? Oh, I know why, because this is for the, the stories. It's even giving me whether I've done my stories uh, on my personal profile or my page. Confirm. All right, so now I've said all those, and I'm going to go, okay, I think for me, I'm going to go like 60 days. And then this is going to be... Um, Video views, we'll call it April, 50%. The description, whatever you want. Create audience, and off it goes. That'll take up to 30 minutes. It's gonna chug away in the background. It says right there, up to 30 minutes. And then from here, you could expand it by doing a lookalike, maybe. I'd recommend for your lookalikes, you wanna do lookalikes on um, email subscribers, and specifically doing it lookalikes on customers. Who are your paying customers? Find more people like your paying customers. Maybe people who visit websites for a certain length of time, your website, um, your email subscribers, as I mentioned, and then you know people are interacting with your ads. But um, a lookalike based on video views, it's not bad. And then also doing your ad uh, based on those video views as well. So really, really nifty. Now then, what you're going to do is you won't, you wouldn't do an ad with the exact same video. I showed you a bunch of videos there, but you could just do one video. You're not then going to do an ad and show those same people, you know, you want to do an ad with a different video, a different video, um, because obviously that audience has shown that they're watching videos, right? So you could do a different video that drives them to a specific landing page, drives them to perhaps to do a, the call to action button might be to message you, uh, and then you have a bot connected to that. Super, super helpful. So great things you can do with the Facebook targeting. Uh, with those engagement custom audiences. So here's a screenshot with WAVE. As I said, you can just private message me the word WAVE to get this code. Save 30% off any annual plan. I've got in the description here. Use code WXA underscore 30 Smith. So that gives any of Mari's peeps a 30% off of any annual plan. It's a brilliant platform. I just love these guys. They just keep getting better and better every time I go and use them. I also have my own training, friends. We've got, we're opening the doors back up for my fast Facebook results. We've got version 2.0 is uh, ready, is ready for you. And we actually have a special right now. We're doing a, um, you can get up to a year free in my inner circle. You, you can just message me the word fast. And I think that was my last slide. Oh, actually, you know what? While we're here anyway, I'll just show you what, what the deal is. You can message me the word fast, or you can go to bit.ly forward slash fast uppercase FB. You can message me the word fast. And we've got level one is on demand, where it's a 12 part video training. And uh, we go in depth even more into waved up video and all the things you can do there, plus live. It's a combination of live and video and ads. I like to use FAST as an ac acronym for my Facebook ad strategy trainings. I have it up there. And then you get three months free inner circle. Inner circle is my social media mastermind. We meet twice a month. It's a terrific way to stay on top of everything social media. And then your level two, is video training plus 12 weeks of live coaching. We've got those starting back up in a couple of days, so come and join us. Uh, and you get 12 months free inner circle with that one. We also have a VIP level, which you can get one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. All right, so that's where you can just go to uh, the bit.ly, fast FB, you can message me the word fast, and uh, any questions on that, you can message me as well. Let me go over here and find where that is. Uh, come join us or FAST FB version 2.0. <laughs> All right, 
So with that, let me see what other questions you might have. And um, you are so welcome. Brigetti says, uh, it's 2 a.m. in Cape Town. You're the best. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, so um, let me do that. I'm going to mute that down there, mute that. Hi, Adam Norris. <laughs> We're in the green room together. Okay. Hello, Heather. Yeah. Oh, Ravisa from Fiji. Hello, Fiji. Morocco. Adam, yeah, you're, you're saying a competitor to, to TV. You're right, Adam. The, in a way, they are because, you know, I'm not watching as much regular TV. I mean, most of us here are cord cutters, right? We've got, we got rid of our cable TV and we're subscribers to Netflix or Amazon. Mm-hmm. Uh, Adam, you're asking me, do you think an advocate should use Facebook ads? Yeah, an advocate? He, yeah, sure, like a brand ambassador or an affiliate? Sure, absolutely. What else we got here? Tammy Forbes is asking, and now I'm using um, blue jeans here, and uh, this way I'm not able to put your questions up on the screen. Well, I mean, I could share my desktop and show you them. But some other, some of the platforms can put the questions up on the screen. <laughs> Tammy Forbes is asking, for my business, I have both a Facebook page and a private community page. I guess you mean a private community page. I bet you you mean a group. If it's private, it's not a public page. It's probably a group. Right now, the community page is for paying customers to our membership site. It's so funny how people call them pages. If there is, I'm sure you must mean a group because all pages are public. Would you recommend it to keep it that way, or would you recommend that we change it to be closed, but after request, you're allowed in? Okay, so Tammy, I have a very, very similar setup to myself. Myself, I've used Facebook groups for years, and I, and I just love groups. And especially in the last year, Facebook's made groups so much, uh, um, they've just added so many more features. So you can um, have your page be an admin, which is probably what you do. Your page can be an admin, it can be linked, you can get more uh, Facebook uh, members to join your group as a result of being linked and featured at the top of your page um, and definitely make it closed. Uh, well, closed or open is fine, but you could have it set so after request they're allowed in. Sometimes secret is better. You make a secret group. Um, one of my top clients um, is in a, a direct sales company and she has a secret Facebook group with 60,000 members and it's secret because she has all of her distributors in her downline, they will actually privately, you know, add, ask people if they want to join, they get invited, they have to be friends first and then they get invited to join this secret Facebook group with 60,000 members and all they do is they talk about their results. Uh, my, my client Ursula calls it her testimony group and it's, they talk about uh, weight loss for a direct sales weight loss company and they talk about their incredible results and nobody, there's no, you know, pitching, talking about the product or the pricing or anything. It's just a really great model. It's neat how she does it. So there's different ways, Tammy, in other words, depending on how you all here are using groups, different ways. You're welcome, Celia. Oh, Adam, you use Trent too. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of you are responding to the auto auto sound. Checking your questions here. Adam, you're also asking me if I've noticed views down. Not really, no. Actually, if anything, some of my views are up and some of my reach is way up too. I got extraordinary organic reach, over 100,000 organic reach in one of my link posts, like in the last five or six weeks, which is really, really interesting. Adam, you're also asking me any thoughts for influencers who help local businesses in a large town? Influencers, well, gosh, I mean, brand ambassador work is just wonderful and, and having those influencers doing Facebook Lives or, you know, obviously doing their socials, maybe teaming up to do a, kind of a, a roving Facebook Live if it's for local businesses. People love doing things like vicariously, you know, walking through the aisles or meet and greets or behind the scenes, product demos, all kinds of great things like that. Sarah McSweeney, when we'll watch Rollout Globally? I sure wish I knew, <laughs> but I don't think it'll be long. Oh, and Sandra's got a great question about using Facebook Watch Party. So the Watch Party is where any groups, only available in groups, 
and any group admin or moderator can take any video. This is why you got to be making more video content. You can take any video, you can line it up in a playlist, you set a date and time of when you're going to have the watch party, and all your group members now are having a, a mocked up live experience. So Facebook's found that when they get all these eyeballs consuming video at the same time, like live, when it's live, live gets six times the engagement than non-live. And so similarly, that's why they created um, the watch party is to be able to mock up that, you know, everybody watching at once. So you can search any video on Facebook, any public video. You could line up a big binge watching, <laughs> you know, uh, playlist, uh, which I think is, a, is really great. It's a great uh, concept. Now then, let's see, I'm going to hop on over to the Wave because I'm cross posting this over to Wave. Okay, great. I was just ch checking what uh, comments we might have over there. Good deal, friends. Sweet. Okay, wow, we zowie. So here's what we're going to do. I'll make sure that um, we'll go ahead and make these slides available. Stay tuned for that. And um, then uh, I know both myself and uh, Wave are going to make a blog post. So we'll also have this all available with the slides, with the video, and the 10 different questions with the answers. And don't forget that you've got that great uh, code to be able to get the special deal, 30% off any annual plan for wave.video. Take it for a test drive even. If you're not ready just yet, just take the whole thing for a test drive. You can create and produce a video. It'll have the watermark, the wave video uh, watermark on it, but you may as well take it for a test drive and see uh, what you think. And uh, get going with creating more video friends because it's definitely on the increase. Lots more video content. All right, any questions, let us know. It's been a pleasure to team up with my friends at wave.video uh, to bring you this training. And uh, look forward to teaming up again. Anything else we can help you with with your video marketing friends? Let us know. See you again real soon. Hit that button, she says. Now try to hit all the right buttons, Mari. Last week I totally spaced out and I kept broadcasting long after I was supposed to stop. <laughs> oh, silly me.